Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. Today's shave is gonna be a slight change up from the usual in that this is going to be a hardware review. And today we're going to be reviewing the Rex Ambassador Adjustable Razor. So I'm gonna start off talking a little bit about the razor and then we're gonna get lathered up and get right into a shave. So when you first receive the Rex Ambassador Razor, it comes in this pretty cool case here. And this is basically like a sleeve right here, which fits nice and snug and it comes packed right in here. It's got an inspector's ticket. And then additionally, you'll probably see a tag that comes with the razor, um, which is basically the manufacturer's guarantee and a, a lifetime warranty uh, courtesy of Rex for any manufacturing or build construction sort of defects, which is really cool. You don't really see those lifetime kind of warranties these days. Um, so, the razor itself, as I mentioned before, this is an adjustable razor. So as you can see up here, this has numbers one through six. And really this is to indicate and to, to dial in basically your level of aggression that you feel most comfortable with. Um, <clears throat> obviously one is gonna be your most mild setting and six is going to be the most aggressive or efficient uh, setting. Now the, the cool thing about this particular uh, razor in the adjustment feature is that unlike the old school Gillette razors, this can actually, you can have the adjustment set wherever you want between one and six. You're not restricted to just one or two or three. Um, you can dial this to four and a half, three and a half, wherever your heart desires. So that's a really cool feature of this um, adjustable razor that, that I quite enjoy. This is a two-piece razor. Um, so one of the things I actually want to show is if you unscrew from the bottom here, you'll see the pin kind of drop out right there. That indicates that the top cap is loose and that you can actually remove it. So comes off quite easily. And one of the things that I actually really enjoy about this uh, razor is the posts on this. So unlike a lot of other DE razors that have the, the more circular skinny posts, this one has the long horizontal posts, which I'm gonna go ahead and load up my blade here. I'm gonna be loading up a Gillette Silver Blue. So when I insert it here, it fits perfectly in the blade. So there's no really potential wiggle room for, for chatter. So I'm just gonna put it right back in here. What I like to do is just kind of keep the razor pinched on the sides here as I'm screwing this back in. That kind of ensures that everything is lined up once, uh, once the razor's tightened again. So very easy, very intuitive and um, given that this is made of 316L stainless steel, it's really of, of high quality. This does have some heft to it. Um, I believe it's three and a half ounces. The height of the razor is three and a half inches. So um, I have fairly big hands, but this is still a, a good length for me. Um, the knurling on this is exceptional, which I expect will help me through throughout the shave to ensure that you know there's no potential um, chance of me dropping it. So the other thing that I'll mention before we get into this shave is under the top cap here, you'll see a four digit number followed by a letter and a number. The first four numbers are the, basically it's the number that your razor is in production. So this one in particular is 2,695 and the letter followed by the last number here, 03, that's gonna be your date code, which um, pays homage basically to the Gillette date codes. So this one in particular is 03, which means it was produced in two, the 2019 quarter three. So the original ones that came out back in 2017 um, have the letter code of M. So if you ever see some floating around that have different letters, it's based off the Gillette date codes. All right. so. I spoke a little bit about the razor. I'm gonna go ahead and get lathered up and then we'll get right into a shave. All right, so we're back, we're lathered up. 
Today I'm using West Coast Shavings Grapefruit. I've had the pleasure of reviewing this soap in the past and it is, uh, continues to be one of my favorite scents of 2019. All right, so I've got my Gillette Silver Blue loaded up in here and I've got this set uh, on about two and a half. <clears throat> so we'll see how this goes for the first pass. As I mentioned, this is a fairly hefty razor, and <clears throat> it really is one of those razors that um, the, the heft really just allows you to sort of let the razor do all the work. You really don't need any pressure applied to this. And it will just do all of the work for you. I will say that uh, this razor has a phenomenal balance to it. It's in no way top heavy or bottom heavy. It really, I mean, I'm, I'm holding it pretty much right in the middle, just below the, the twist knob here and right down to the, the, the bottom pin. Very, very comfortable. As I mentioned, the, the knurling on this razor, I mean, it is, it's exceptional and I really have no concerns about potentially dropping this razor or having it slip out of my hand. And given that this is inspired by a couple of previous um, vintage uh, razors, uh, most notably the, the Gibbs and as well as the Gillette adjustable razors, um, and especially in terms of the, the date codes, um, it's really nice to, to see a more modern option, if you will, uh, of an adjustable razor. You really don't see the Gibbs razors anymore these days. They are often very hard to find. If you do, they're probably uh, on sites such as eBay. And the, obviously the uh, Gillette, the Fat Boys and the Slims are the other adjustable razors that this kind of draws inspiration from. Those are much easier to find and or just absolute staples in, in this community. You know, obviously back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. And so it's nice to have sort of a modern option now of adjustable razors. Now for me, I usually prefer more mild setting. Um, I did catch myself a little bit down here on my neck. Nothing too bad. So if you really wanted to, um, de depending on, on your growth and your preference of, you know, for, for face feel in terms of a razor, you know, you could always dial it up for your second, third passes. Um, I usually prefer just to leave it. Just gonna lather up a little bit. It's a very good first pass. I have about a day and a half worth of growth, so I don't I don't have a, a ton, but that certainly knocked down the initial growth that I had without any issues. Since this was released in 2017, there have actually been some changes that were made after the first year and after a lot of uh, initial feedback. I wouldn't say that it's anything uh, too major, but 
those changes really were made for for primarily uh, ease of the machining process as I understand it. We'll finish up this second pass real quick and get to the post shave. As you can hear, there's quite a bit of feedback on this against the green pass. But no issues whatsoever. since this razor's release in 2017 it has been quite popular i do see it uh being used quite a bit throughout the community and i think it still continues to impress people these days <clears throat> it's just got exceptional build quality to it And again, just being able to have this ability to adjust on the fly, it's just, it's really, it's sort of a game changer. It really puts you in control of your entire shave. Wow. Yep, that was very good. Quick, easy, effortless shave. Very smooth, very comfortable. Other than the small nick that I got right there. No complaints. So I'm gonna rinse off and we will get to the post shave. Following it up with grapefruit. Just a great, great scent, in my opinion. <clears throat> All right. Now, as one last note, um, I've actually um, recently seen that Rex uh, just announced their next razor um, as a follow-up to the Ambassador, which is called the Envoy. And um, I believe they are doing pre-sales on it for Black Friday. So it might be something that, uh, that you'll want to keep an eye out for. Um, it is a fixed angle, um, basically, version of the Ambassador. Um, so if it's anything like the Ambassador itself, I'm sure it's going to provide some phenomenal shaves and, and great durability and build quality. Um, so I would certainly keep an eye out for that as well. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the shave. I know I did. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.